hey, it's Jonathan, and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about getting quiet to find out what you really need. So with the athletes that I work with in mental performance school and the athlete breakthrough blueprint, you know, one of the times people come to me is help finding clarity, right? So having a, a an unbiased set of eyes helping an athlete with the mental performance side, but also you know, if all you focused on was like visualization and, and the mental side of your game, you'd be doing things wrong just like if all you did was spent time in the technical aspect of your sport. So that's not the point. The work that I do is getting an athlete to look at the big picture because you can't just ignore something. You've got to basically, uh, you've got to create a, a well-rounded athlete. So if you're an athlete and you know that you kind of hide doing like the physical stuff, like you're like to be in the gym or you just like to do the technical aspect of your sport, then, you know, you're not, you gotta, we gotta fix that. Right. So, but one of the things is that a lot of times athletes, when you're in it, when you're training, when you're competing, when you're in school, when you're maybe working a job, like whatever, it's like, go, go, go. You have no time to think. So getting quiet is a place is a time and a place for you where you can allow kind of that inner voice to tell you, okay, listen, we got to work on this, right? Whatever that may be for you. Now, the interesting thing that we're all experiencing during the coronavirus is that there's a fair bit of downtime, right? But what a lot of young athletes do is they fill all that time with consumption, right? And so the number one consumption, where's my phone, is TikTok, Instagram, right? Uh, Snapchat, whatever. So there's really, even though we have downtime because we're quarantined, a lot of athletes aren't treating it as such, right? They're just, they're, they're in consumption mode as opposed to production mode. Now, the hardest thing to learn to do is to do nothing, right? There's a great quote and I always mess up who it's from. I think it might've been Pascal or somebody said, you know, like all of man's problems rise from the fact that he can't sit in a room quiet alone. And when you learn how to do that, when you get away from the noise, you get these little bubblings of intuition that are there all the time, but you just can't hear them. You can't understand them. You can't they, they, you don't give them the, the attention that they really deserve because you're always doing. So now, even though this could be a really good time when we're stuck at home to have lots of these times to be thoughtful and mindful and all those good words, a, a lot of athletes aren't giving themselves that opportunity because they're, they're just consuming typically social media. Now, parents at home can also be in a similar situation where they're not doing that either, right? Or they're looking at their athlete who's doing nothing and are stressing out because they feel like that actually athlete should be doing something, right? Something productive, do something productive, right? That's a, that's a, a lament of most parents. But the idea is that sometimes doing nothing is the best thing that you could be doing or not doing, okay? So take some time. I want you to take some time today after you get done listening to this, um, to shut off your phone, go for a walk without your headphones, without your earbuds, without your phone, leave your phone at home, go for a walk. Now I know some of you are stuck in places where even going for a walk is like forbidden, but you know what, for the most part, a lot of, a lot of you can like just get outside for a little bit and get somewhere where you've got no input and you're just allowing things to happen. Now, if you, if you pray, if you meditate, all those things, those are great as well because you can just kind of tap in to that inner voice a little bit more easily. But if you have no practice doing that, I don't want you to try to start it right now, but by getting away from the consumption and getting away from all the noise, you're probably going to hear some kind of little downloads from the universe that allow you to think of things that you should be working on, right? Those things that you've been ignoring and it'll help you kind of come to a conclusion like, all right, yeah, I've been ignoring this. I really need to take some time 
working on on those things to make yourself a more holistic athlete what are you running from what are you not addressing those types of questions are the things you'll get answers to when you're getting quiet all right so i hope this helps all right if it helps do me a favor leave me a comment wherever you're watching this or listening to me um, and uh, by all means you can always email me coach edwards at athletespecific.com because like the athletes that I work with on a daily basis and the families I work with in our Athlete Breakthrough Blueprint and in Mental Performance School, we're working on things like this. So if I can help you, just reach out. I look forward to hearing you soon. Cheers. See you tomorrow.